Well, Vande Matram, good afternoon to all the participants, especially Professor Madhuriji and Professor Navatika and uh, representatives of IAPA and uh, various uh, SLSA <coughs> and uh, people participating uh, from all over India. Uh, I congratulate uh, Access to Justice Division, which has been holding this uh, webinar series uh, under the Legal Literacy Program. Uh, you're all aware the technology, uh, the introduction of ICT uh, updated a lot of uh, interest in not only the access to education, access to knowledge, and then creation of e-commerce websites, and uh, the use of these networks, you know, whether getting entertainment and purchasing things, household things, during the COVID lockdown period, uh, no, uh, the utility of these networks, uh, you know, I don't need to explain you. So we're all beneficiaries and using these networks and using online shopping, uh, getting education and uh, getting knowledge and entertainment. But all these cyber networks, the internet networks come with some risk factor. Uh, maybe because of lack of awareness or uh, various, uh, uh, you know, unscrupulous, unsocial elements, and uh, you know, they are trying to manage uh, either your national interest or your economic interest, and uh, you know that is a big issue now. Now the issues of uh, personal. Uh, cyber stalking, you know, you know, we are, you must be members of various uh, social media sites. You must have seen these personally experienced or at least you must have read the news about how cyber stalking has become a big issue. And uh, uh, you know, uh, it is simply uh, not only spreading the fake news and also uh, trying to, uh, you know, disfigure the already available information about you and uh, also creating something obscene material or internet when uh, the person is not acceded to their demands. And uh, it leads to even defamation sometimes and uh, even cyber hacking is also a big problem. Uh, and uh, it comes in various shapes and uh, types, uh, whether you must be getting SMS or social media messages or even emails. So various communication methods use uh, the normal, uh, you know, the WhatsApp message you may be getting which, that have been hacked or your Facebook messenger sending you information from your known friend but obviously is not sending that information that has been the, his account has been hacked so what happens when you innocently uh, trying to click a link sent to you that you have won a 50000 rupees reward uh, you have been selected uh, because and why you have been selected you must ask the question what is your contribution uh, and uh, getting that award or 50,000 rupees before clicking that link, whether you're getting an SMS or email uh, and uh, e even the uh, various social media messages. And they recently one more dangerous thing uh, is happening and the, the cyber crimes, you know, you, you must be getting SMS from uh, the either the NIC NICNET or the government uh, 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 bodies like uh, either BSNL or M MTNL or try sometimes that whenever you get an international call, you should be very careful. The moment a call is coming from international thing, uh, you know that uh, you, you, you know you may be dealing as a professor or a researcher various universities the, you know back of the mind you think that somebody must have taken your number and calling you inviting you for a seminar or give a lecture but obviously uh, that is 
at the moment you take the call and uh, they simply send you malware and uh, collect all the data from your mobile phone <laughs> try to hack your um, you know aadhar card and uh, everything your bank account the various uh, cases have been registered by the cyber police all over the world simply receiving those that kind of international call and so one has to be very very careful apart from various um, you know post go things happening child pornography sharing and most imp- important thing is the intellectual property rights of course uh, when uh, wipo internet treaties were introduced by wipo performers and phonogram treaty these things have been addressed the authors and right owners and performers the rights have to be protected you know what you are experiencing during the covid times uh, watching netflix or uh, amazon prime you know that you legally registered and paid monthly subscription you know hacking that uh, the id uh, hacking that encryption and illegally watching that uh, downloading the downloading the content these are the various issues happening all over the world and of course the major important thing is cyber terrorism and cyber vandalism you know uh, you know hacking your ta- sites and disfiguring even though know, recently most of some the twitter accounts of uh, various celebrities and, and the important person even ministers accounts have been hacked and uh, you know it all happened with uh, the uh, you know uh, changes in the uh, uh, in this um, you know buying of uh, twitter by elon musk and all that the they started putting simply elon musk photos and all that but lack of awareness is the main key here you know i told you about various phishing attacks happening as you know trying to collect your login and password and credit card details through the sending you to various links and messages to click it you want to not do that credit card frauds are happening because when you save your information <coughs> after purchasing thing uh, i don't want to take much time but there are five important things you should recognize when you are working in a university or government office or private sector there are one category of people who are non respondents uh, because these poor guys now no clue or knowledge about uh, how to use this internet things they blindly click on and they compromise unknowingly uh, these kind of phishing attacks and uh, and become victims of uh, cyber crime in a negligent manner because you know, this kind of workshops which access to justice uh, division started um, not only importing the legal awareness especially these kind of niche areas like cyber crime how an innocent individual get trapped in that so this education ne- next ne- next one is uh, not only the the non responders are in, uh, you know uh, you know lack of awareness that category second is the person is aware but he will get into trap in attentively so these guys have to be more careful even though you knowingly you know must have seen that many ministers and members of parliaments who are the you know so top uh, uh, you know entrepreneur heads Got, become victims of these kind of phishing attacks so you have to be doubly careful sometimes it happens so mostly in the private sector insider collusion happens so there should be proper checking and cyber uh, policy of that institution or office and also there are uh, you know uh, disgruntled people mostly in the private sector university uh, uh these kind there are two um, uh, kinds one is the persistent malicious insiders unka dimag hi aisa hota hai to create the problem or other kind of disgruntled people these two kind of people you have to keep watch they try to compromise the interest of organization and uh, bringing not only the disrepute and causing lot of uh, economic loss so uh, so uh, one should have have a security monitor all transactions deploy regular scanning method methodology updates and uh, uh, educate your employees and friends and um, 
utilize the address verification system. Best thing is when you, now I know you're all aware that you should have strong login ID and password. And, and not only that, you should keep changing it, especially when you have credit card and debit card, you have to protect your I want you to never divulge this, otherwise you will be uh, getting into trouble. The entire your hard endings will be wiped out within a second. So stronger uh, login IDs and the passwords and keep changing them. And if you don't remember, have a physical record kept securely with you, but don't store in your mobile the list of uh, login IDs and uh, passwords. That is very dangerous. And, uh, you know, these are the things you need to do. Of course, you're all various experts are there. I'm seeing after a long time, Professor Madhuri ji, namaste, and also uh, Professor Navtika and all the other friends who are attending. Nice to see all of you after a long time. And congratulations and welcome to this seminar. I understand that the representative of uh, IIPA and uh, uh, Navtika ji and uh, Madhuri ji and uh, other uh, resource persons like uh, Sri Kadlan Gautam uh, and uh, Mr. Premnath, the giant uh, CP of Delhi Police. These are the experts who have been, uh, you know, dealing with these things and uh, uh, implementing the cyber security at the ground level day meeting these victims and try to catch those unscrupulous elements trying to exploit innocent people and creating uh, damage to the national security and also economic security of everyone. So congratulations again, Jai Hind, and uh, uh, you can either Srivastva or Shikaji, you can carry on. Thank you.